Hi, it's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did the dungeon called Utgard Keep. And we finished that dungeon, finished a bunch of quests for it, and we got level 43. And today, we are going to uh, go out and go back to Jalbron. And we're going to finish some quests, and we're also going to do a little bit of PvP, because why not? So let's queue up for that. And we'll finish off this quest, The Walking Dead. We have to slay ten Deathless Watchers, four Fearsome Horrors, and two Putrid Rites. We have to afterwards inform Great Mother Anka, the Camp Winterhoof, of our success. So we're just uh, keep pretty much just keeping on doing these quests that, uh, you know, that prevent Jailbron from attacking Camp Winterhoof. And eventually, I'm thinking about going to, uh, we'll eventually go over here to Grizzly Hills. We'll start questing there in a couple of levels. Do a couple more here at Camp Waterhoof. So I want to check out Grizzly Hills. But supposedly, we have to go in somewhere, I think, right? Okay, well, there's the Deathless Watchers, so I guess we'll attack these guys. Look at this guy. Worm Cal Vile. Shooting... Shooting these like ice bolts out of our arcane bolts. Target. And I have been watching a bit of the World First Race for the Mythic uh, Mythic Raid Castle in the and it looks like people are getting stuck on sludge fish. Look like anyone's took taken them out yet. Maybe soon we will we will have someone take them out. Maybe during this video someone will. But it looks like the raid has finally found its boss that people are having a challenge doing. It. So that is good to see. It's good when like you know like skills start you know get stuck a little bit. It'd be kind of a shame if they just cleared the place and in less than a week, kind of the way I look at it. That's how you know a raid's a challenge, is when it takes longer than a week, or one lockout, for uh, the guild to take it down. Yeah, it's a tight race right now. A lot of guilds are close, they're all caught up pretty much. It's gonna be a good race. Watching it. Two putrid rights right in that fearsome horrors. I haven't seen those yet, but I think they're on the other side. So right now the Vikril are like in allegiance with the Scourge. I wonder how that occurred. In uh in Legion, Helia. Like Helia runs the Vikril. Which I found kind of interesting. Helia is like, uh, I don't know if you guys know who Helia is, but she's like, it's like the, the goddess of the sea, I guess you could say. She has like tentacles and stuff. She's like a, a squid woman. And I think she's in, uh, she's also, I believe she's in Shadowlands. I think I've seen her in Shadowlands in like a, a clip or something like that. It's like in the Maw. Because we defeated her in, uh, in Legion. Small raid, it's like a three boss raid. Go, another putrid right down. Done with those. And there's the Overlord Mezzin again. I guess these Necrolords we don't have to fight. I'm trying to find out where we're gonna find these fearsome horrors. But we seem to be able to find these gargoyle guys. Also, our guild got in, in classic, our guild got patchwork down. So that was big. A patchwork and Grobulus down, so a little bit of progression there. We're now 8 out of 15. Should be posting uh, some content soon on both of those raids. I guess I'll start posting like, uh, I don't know, just like a raid or two. I didn't really want to do it from the start because we were having a rough time and... 
but uh, I guess those are the most interesting raids when you're guild having a lot of uh, a lot of banter between between the members, and a lot of guilds are uh, are collapsing because of Naxxramas. Naxxramas is a challenging raid, much harder, uh, I must say, than uh, normal Castle Mafia. Took that down in less than a week and on, tu on uh, Tuesday, we did it in like one day, we did all of uh, I think Heroic will be a challenge, we'll start doing crossing on a road, I think tomorrow, we'll see how that goes, this is going to be, Dang Dango's going to die maybe, we'll do something like this. Maybe he won't die. He's got leech. You know, Dag Dingo's OP, guys. Let's use Bloodlust, too. Let's make sure we get him down here. Yeah, okay, never mind. Dag Dingo did not live. He might be in trouble now. I'm trying to find out what button that is. It's Frostbolt you can't kick. Kind of like that. Freeze him. Is he, can he take... He, he doesn't get frozen by frozen trap. Oh, good thing we got that kill shot. Dag Dingo went down. That's too bad. Who's his health pot here? But yeah, we're going to try to get Castle Nathria down. We'll see how we do on Heroic. And then I don't know if we'll do Mythic. We don't really have 20 Raiders at the moment. If there's any uh, progression raiders out there looking for a guild, give me a shout. Might have a spot for you. We're looking for uh, range DPS and I believe uh, a disc priest healer. A yeah, major hunter range DPS we're looking for. So where do I find these Deathless Watchers and Fearsome Horrors? Well, I know where the Deathless Watchers are, the Gargoyle guys. I'm just going to fly around again. I wonder if they're, like, in here. Doesn't look like they are. This is... There's some horror. Seem to be on the outskirts. Those them in here? Doesn't look like it. I haven't seen any fearsome horrors. Yeah, I can't wait till we get out into the Shadowlands. I'm gonna actually see some some alliance out in the world. Hope we see that soon. We can't find any of these fearsome horrors. For some reason. I stunned him there. Target. Got another health pot, a better health pot. Got a super healing potion. That's cool. Necro Lord right there. I'm trying to wonder. Oh, there it is. There's Barb Shop. Barb Shop Sapphire. I use a, a Razor Naga mouse. It's one of those mouses with like 12 buttons. I really enjoyed it for MMOs. Ever since I started, I got one like years ago. I haven't really switched. But sometimes I have like trouble figuring out like which button it is. There's like 12 buttons on the side. It's like a kind of confused, especially on a new character when you're trying to like Mermit, like memorize all the buttons, like all the keybinds, and I'm just like key binding on the fly. It's too far. The hunters have a lot of keybinds. It's kind of crazy. What's going on? I think dog. I think the doggy might pull. Uh, might pull this. Pull this guy here. I'm gonna watch out. Yeah, he did. Just as I thought he would. Right, we'll keep that gargoyle. Uh, Keep him frozen there for a bit. Look at all these guys. We're just getting attacked, guys. We can get that freezing trap still up. 
drop in. Okay, I think I this guy. Now all we gotta do is find these fearsome horrors. I think we'll be able to find those. Guess we'll finish off this last one and then we'll look for these fearsome horrors. They seem to be, I, I wonder if they're underground. Like in that, in that zone. It's under these great, uh, little grates over here. There's gotta be something down there. Supposedly they're in this area. I can't seem to find them. I don't know where you find these guys. I don't want to go in here, but I'm assuming if I go in there, I'll find them. They say they're in this area here, but I haven't seen any of them. Fearsome horrors. He's not a fearsome horror. He's an overseer. They got to be underground. There's got to be a way for me to get underground here. What's over here? Not much, just a bunch of gargoyles. Some Vicryl and a putrid right. Warriors here. The Walking Dead, a fearsome horror of slain. Yeah, I'm guessing it's inside. Okay, can we go down into this? No. I guess we're going to have to figure it out. So we'll go in here for now. This is where we slayed Yumeron's wife. That's Yumeron right there inside that, uh, inside that tomb thing. We're trying to resurrect him. There's nobody else in here, so I don't think it's in here. Not at all. Okay, so we'll get out of here. We'll go back outside. Try to find these, uh, freezes. Hunter's doing really well in Classic, too. You're seeing a lot, like, the classes you see, well, in this raid, they're doing well. A lot of, the classes you see a lot of in this Mythic raid right now, for damage is uh you see a lot of hunters balanced truths and death knights and pretty much people are getting all they're getting all the buffs as well from like monk and five percent physical damage and you see uh you i think you sometimes see demon hunters because they give the five percent buff to magic damage You rarely see enhanced shamans, though. They, they drop Wind Fury Totem, which increases attack speed by 20%. But you always see priests. You always see a mage for intellect buff. Priests give the stamina buff. I think I got all the buffs there. Okay, they got to be down here. There we go. We found, we found the hole, guys. We found the hole. We found the fearsome horse. I knew it was around here somewhere. <laughs> guys don't like the sunlight, so. So let's get this guy down. Get our Bob Sharp shot down. There's a lot of damage. It looks like they're summoning somebody. But our Q popped, guys. Let's go get this one. Here's some horror down and jump into the battle. Looks like we're going to get a Warsong Gulch. It's one of my uh, favorite battlegrounds. I think we've done this one a couple times. 
Or at least once, haven't we? I think we've done a war song gulch, haven't we? I'm not too sure. Pretty sure we've done a war song gulch. Yeah, we did. We did do a war song gulch, and it was the easiest BG I ever did. I think the alliance like left the game. This place looks cool though. Like they update they updated War Song Gulch. I think it was like a last expansion. They did an update. Or maybe in Legion. They did a big update like that. I'll take a screenshot of this this zone right here. Looks really cool, you know? Like look at that. They did a really good job. It's cool how they keep updating the game, even though it's like 15, I think it's like 15 years old, or like close to 16 years old now. Look at this guy down here in the corner. Just rocking out. I'm trying to get a screenshot, a screenshot of this guy. Get a picture of him right here. Oh no, he stopped. Just about to get a photo of him. He's got a cool little transmog. Check out everybody's transmog. Everybody's always like has scuffed gear when they're leveling. Like no one really cares about their gear. This person looks pretty good. It's a pretty cool transmog. Okay, well, it looks like it's time to go, guys. Let's roll out. For some reason, I marked that guy with a square. I don't know why, but I did. That was the guy rocking out. His name is... Is his name Barbecue? His name's g -Pi. Get my pet out? There we go, yeah. That guy just got wrecked. Ran into the wrong group of people, that's for sure. So I guess we're doing a little flag trade off. They got our flag. We're getting their flag. I think this is actually going to be a good game. We got one healer. How many did they got? Shadow Priest. Got a Resto Druid. And they got a holy priest. So they got two healers. We got one. So this, this could be tough. Let's make sure we take out their priest. I think he's pretty good priest right here. Got to keep him on. Got to keep him in the graveyard. If I can get that off of him. How do I mark him like that? We're waiting for the flag carrier. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. I see him. A rogue got him sapped. Is that him? He's a monk. We'll take some shots out of here. I'm gonna run away. Seem to be on me now. This guy doesn't seem to move past half. Okay, they're starting to really push us here. It's not looking good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna use all my cooldowns. I'm just gonna go on this monk hard. I'm going hard in the paint on this monk. He's gone down. We got the flag back, guys. Let's go. Now he's gotta make sure our guy caps it. Get rid of this mage. Where is our flag carrier? He's right down there. Got a paladin on him. I'm gonna try to CC him. Throwing a trap down. Hopefully we get somebody in it. We got the mage in it. Where's our FC? We got a hunter on it. It's not looking good at the moment. I think we might have to turtle up. I'm having a real tough battle. I'm turtling up now. 
gonna run away. I'm gonna use a potion here. It does nothing. Let's run away, guys. Looking like a lost cause. This guy turtle up down here. And we lost the flag as well. That's not good. But that hunter went down. I'm low health. Is our pet still alive? Looks like he is. This guy's bubbled up. This guy's gonna jump on me. I'm in a lot of trouble. Let's trap him. There we go. That's what you do when you're in trouble. Just throw a trap down. <laughs> okay, maybe this guy will help me. There you go, dude. You help me. Help me, G-Pi. Pyroblast him. Nice job, dude. He's gonna blink into me and probably do damage. Get him down. Where's our dog at? There's the rogue right there. Maybe we should trap him. Where's our pet? Like, your pet just doesn't listen to me. Oh, it's just me. I gotta res my pet. This rogue's just sitting there. That Tag dingo's hurt. Just feed him. Let's give him, uh... Get some meat here for him. There we go. Need to feed ourselves, need actually. Target. There's RFC. He's going, he's going. Human. Yeah, Ooh, whoa, whoa, I can shoot him. Shoot that guy. Oh my gosh, he died. I got the flag, and I'm gonna try to get out of here. We're running. We're running. We put a trap down. Will we be able to get away? I'm like the worst guy to have the flag. Well, not the worst, but... I guess it's better than nobody having it. I don't have a lot of health, that's why I was saying I was the worst. But we'll go up here to the top. And, uh... Hopefully we'll slowly heal up. Looks like their flag's in there. I've got a rogue on their FC. Okay, here we go. I gotta go, I gotta go. Get in! Yeah! We capped it. Kind of getting used to my hunter here a little bit. I enjoy the PvP on a hunter. It's, it's a lot of fun. They beat the crap out of my monk in arena. That's for sure. Alright, here we go. We're rolling out here. We got their flag. They don't have our flag. Got their druid right here. We should get him now. Kind of big. Their healer's down. Well, one of their healers. We're on this mage, right? Oh. Battle between the hunters again. Oh my gosh. We don't have... We don't have turtle that time, guys. Did we? We did have turtle, we just didn't use it. My mistake. But we're back. Back just in time. And it looks like uh, they're trying to get the flag here. There's their FC. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going on them, and we're popping bloodlust. We gave everybody bloodlust. He's gonna go down fast. That's all I gotta say. He's going down fast. The question is, who got the flag after that? I'm doing. I'm getting out of here. We're gonna wipe them, guys. There's the flag. No one's touched it. Our flag is returned to the base. Okay, good. Very good. But the uh, thing is, they're gonna get our flag. We need to stop that monk. Come on, pet. Get him. There we go. We stopped him. That's very good. Very good indeed. Happy we got that down, and now we're going to get another cap. This is actually a good, good battle. They have more healers than us, so you'd think that they would, uh, they would be winning the team fights. I guess our team is just, uh, doing well. 
This looks pretty cool out here. You, like, see the battle and all that? I might do a screenshot that. It'd be cool if I could play like this and, like, know what my B-bites are. But I don't. Some people are good like that, though. I, have, I know some people that, uh, watch, watch some people that play the game and they don't have their keybinds up anywhere. They just take them off because they just know all their keybinds by heart. That's, just shows you all the muscle memory that they have uh, got all the time. Like, I just used a covenant ability to turn into a fox. Am I fighting against level 60s? Where level level everybody is. Some people like 59 and stuff? Well, I am a pretty high level. I have to look into that. I got a hunter here. The hunter that took me out. Gotta get some revenge, guys. There you go. Use a little kill shot on him. Looks like they're trying to make a comeback. Get on this recover guy. I can't. I always mess up my keybinds. Get on the shadow priest here. Looks like he's going down. Yeah, we're wiping him up, guys. Oh, looks like they're gonna get a cap on us. We're messing around too much. The thing is, if they get another cap, we might be in trouble. Oh, it's Rob. Makes any return. Oh, it got returned. Somebody was on their FC. Cover guys, shadow please. There's a boomkin over there. See you later, Mr. Monk. Running you into a trap over here. You got everybody's on me, man. They just can't get enough of me. I'm getting like chased down by these guys. Thank God, man. It's a cool thing about playing a hunter, you can kite. If you enjoy kiting, you'll love playing a hunter. Druids are kind of like that too, though. You can kite on a druid as a boomkin. You can kite. It's not like it's not like a hunter, but you can kite as a boomkin on a druid. You have a lot of mobility, dot damage. It's healing like crazy. A lot of druids healing. Him. Get on this paladin. Dude. Paladin's so low. Everyone's just like trying to blow this priest out, but this druid's like healing him. No one like can see that, so I'm gonna throw a trap right there. It wasn't a good trap. Now we're getting on the druid, finally. Kind of just farming this team for some reason. Good thing is that this isn't classic well. Classic WoW, the game never ends. It ends until somebody caps all the all the flanks. So you can see how, uh, how terrible that can be. But on retail, there's a timer, which is good. So it is kind of toxic when a team just camps another team's gra at the graveyard. I'm surprised that we can even do this. To be honest. Survive a pet here. Dang thing went down. Down that warrior. Carp shot him. Can't really get my. Can't heal too much. Can't get my uh, kill shot on him now. He's got a lot of hots on him. No, should be going down. Let's trap this hunter. I kind of missed my trap. I gotta get better at throwing my traps. 
base gonna get blown up. We're just fighting, guys. Okay, we're gonna attack. This is getting overrun. Oh, nice play by the monk. I'm in a lot of trouble, though. I'm gonna turtle up. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna have my frost trap down in a second. One, two, three. Get trapped. He trinketed it. This guy has a trinket. It's gotta be level 60, man. Can we get rid of him? Do I have like a like, concussive shot bug? I'm in trouble. Alright, well, I forgot my concussive shot button. What button is my concussive shot? What button is that? So we can make concussive shot. This is trank shot. So this is my shot to take away in rage. I was actually trying to figure that out. Aspect of the wild? Maybe it's shift? It's shift now. No, I'll make concussive shot that. Target. I could have used that there to slow him down. Couldn't really get him off of me. If he didn't have trinket, I would have been good. Save our comrade. Well, looks like he's going to try to end the game. This will help uh, Churchill over here. Hopefully he can do it. I don't think he can. He's a warlock. He's really slow. Actually, we'll just, we'll just fight these guys. Start fight. There's a priest right there. we got a hunter over here. I'm gonna get destroyed, dude. Get out of there, LOS. Your boy's getting out of here. Good thing I trapped that hunter there. We're on like a sliver of health. Got a decent amount of XP. Not too shit. And we're back here. We have one more fearsome horror to take down. And we're done this place. Get him. I don't have a target. We'll try a concussive shot here. There's a concussive shot. See, they're like a lot of large. Kind of needed that to get that fun. I really love pvp in on the Hunter. It's a lot of fun. It's actually more fun PvPing on the Hunter than, I, than the PvE, I'd say. PvE is cool. But just my tech, my pet tanks everything. I'm like, I don't know. The PV, no, the PV is cool. You want to when the PVP gets fun? Is when the dog, you know, when the dog goes down, I actually have to start like kiting, or if I'm getting like overran by uh, by mobs. And just standing there and shooting is kind of dull. But I chose Beast Mastery, and that's what it is. I've only tried one spec. I haven't tried... There's another one called Survival where you're like a melee hunter. And that sounds kind of cool. Alright. So we've done this quest. Find Sage Mistwalk. Let's go back to town and we'll turn this quest in. Yeah, Warsong Gulch, also awesome battleground. It's a classic. I think it'll always be my favorite one. It's just so basic. You know what I mean? Capture the flag map. I think that's why it's good. The new ones they add are good, though. They're not bad. I don't think they added a new one in Shadowlands, though. So It's kind of tough, too, because there's so many of them. It's hard for them to think of, uh... could imagine it being kind of tough for them to think of something new that's fun. Or that's something that... Or like a game that people would enjoy playing. Yeah, I've enjoyed Shadowlands so far. Pretty good. So let's uh, turn this How quest in. I the Walking you? Dead. The Great Mother nods her approval of your actions. Thank you, Drav Dingo. You have done what is right, and you have brought us a little more time to finish our preparations for leaving. We will soon make the journey north. I am too old when we go, but I will not be able to carry everything with me. Would you like to take one of these? 
Looks like we get a nice neck piece. Wins the Accio See if it's an upgrade. It looks like it's not an upgrade, but we also got we got a bow upgrade from the winning that PG, so that's good. We also got a male shoulder upgrade. We got some stuff to sell. Sell that Step fast. And don't mumble. Sell our junk. There we go. Cleaned up our bags a little bit. We're starting to collect a lot of loot. Start getting rid of us. some of it. We kept the kilt though. We're gonna keep the kilt. Maybe we'll transmog the kilt eventually. It'd be kind of funny. Not everything in the ocean is But that is the end of this episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.